Hello and welcome back to another GTA Online Rally testing video. This video is going to include a couple of cars that weren't included in the main testing. I wanted to include these cars in their own separate video just so if people ask why haven't you tested such and such a car, it's a rally car, then I can say that they're in this video because I don't consider them part of the official, inverted commas, um, rally class. Um, but some people might consider them rally cars, so they are included in this video just for completion, really. And first up, we've had the Brioso RA. This is based on a Fiat 500, which did contest a few rallies back in the day, so I can see why people would think it should be included, but personally, it doesn't have the rally modifications or the rally liveries or anything like that for me to include it, in my opinion, anyway. Interestingly, though, it does have a decent off-road traction loss of 0.8. Um, so that's something that's going for it. There's the time, 58 seconds, that puts it just ahead of the 190Z. Um, so it's a bit faster than those sort of old, slower sports classic rally cars, and faster than the Michele GT, uh, which we know is terrible, but slower than the Retinue Silvestre, Sterling GT, things like that, which is to be expected, I suppose, because it's in the compacts class. Uh, it does dominate the compacts class, but still. Uh, now then, the Dominator GTX. This is not a rally car. As far as I'm concerned, this shouldn't even be in this video, but I've kind of put myself in, the, in a box because this does have modifications. This has rally hood and a rally exhaust for some reason. It's clearly a muscle car. It's clearly based on a modern day Mustang, so I don't know why they put rally spec hood as an option and rally exhaust as an option. Uh, this is the rally exhaust that I've got on the car now, and it just sort of sticks out like two big ball exhausts in the middle. Doesn't make much sense to me, but anyway, it's included for completion. 57 seconds, faster than the Brioso, and still slower than the Silvestro, Sterling GT, and Retinue. Only by a couple of tenths of a second though, um, which I suppose is kind of impressive, but it really shouldn't be. Shouldn't be a class as a rally car, in my opinion. Next up, we've got a car that was included in the original video. The Flash GT, only this time I tested it in its stock form, so on the vehicle selection menu um, you've got your custom cars and then if you keep scrolling to the right you can find the stock cars. So I just picked the stock Flash GT from the selection menu, took it round just to see what sort of lap time it would get because it's so dominant when it's upgraded I wondered how competitive it would be um, in its stock form and it's not too bad, 54.8 here. That's only marginally quicker than the Sentinel Classic and the Omnis, which is very impressive considering this has got no upgrades on it at all, this is stock. It does come with the second spoiler option as stock, so it is getting benefit from the spoiler. And it would be placed in 7th overall, just behind the GB200. Um, it's about half a second off the GB200, but as I say, very impressive considering it's a stock vehicle and if you find yourself in a rally race without a rally car the Flash GT in its stock form would be a decent choice. Now we come to the number one position in this video just ahead of the Karuma here by one tenth of a second which would put it in to third place overall just behind the Comet Safari by another tenth of a second we have the LG Retro Custom. This does have one mod in Los Santos Customs which is rally related um, I believe it's RS Wing spoiler so technically it does fit my criteria for being in the rally class and to be honest I kind of disregarded because I didn't know about the uh, the RS wing spoiler option so it wasn't ever in my mind to include it in the rally video because it's a sports car but actually it's quite amazing how it does fit into the top group of rally cars without the um, flash GT of course because it a tenth faster than the Karuma and a tenth slower than the Comet Safari I almost want to include it in the in the rally class just because it's so on pace. It's a bit like the Sultan RS, it doesn't have a, um, a good off-road traction loss and it doesn't have tyres can clip either so off-road tyres won't make any difference to it but I think just because it's so good on the road that the deficit off-road is made up um, so it's balanced with those sort of those cars that do have off-road traction losses and do have tyres can clip to make it perfectly balanced so there we go. This rounds off my rally testing, um, obviously if more rally cars are introduced in further updates I'll test those as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this mini-series, um, I hope it's been useful, and I'll see you, see you next time.